All right, we're live. Hello, and welcome to the NJC AAE Match Day. We're your hosts, Squishy Sardine and Splinter. As always, it's a new season, new roster, same old Valorant. Let's get right into it. We have a bit of a bit of a roster change here on the side of SBCC with the addition of two new players. We have uh, who do we got here? Uh, introducing Juno, yeah, Juno, the second uh, initiator. As 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 well as Soup, who will be playing as a second duelist here. So it's a full six man roster, uh, with uh, Monkey, Mello, Kato, Funny Man, now Soup and Juno. Monkey will be starting initiator, Mello, Sentinel, potentially second controller. Kato, we've seen him on that duelist role, and uh, Funny Man definitely in that controller role. So really exciting to see how uh, these next few games are going to turn out as we move into the first game uh, against Southwestern Oregon Community College. Yeah. Yep. You know, definitely going to be a, a doozy for the first game for sure. Uh, I don't know exactly. We don't know exactly how the roster is going to work and the six-man roster is actually going to operate, but it will definitely be exciting to see. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, it's, I mean, Southwestern Community College, or South, Southwestern Oregon, yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, it's nice, I mean, we were playing a lot of Eastern and Central teams last right. last season, so it's really nice being in our hometown. Mm -hmm. um, there, uh, found 19, uh, what, what? Yeah, <laughs> 1960. There's our, our list in Coos yeah, Bay, uh, Oregon. And like, yeah. and like you're saying, taking a look at the pings here, really friendly you know you're sitting at 36 ms 21 ms really very friendly numbers to see versus last year sitting in the mid 50s sometimes 60s on its worst days really excited to see how maybe the ping might affect some of the you know maybe are the more precise or technical players um good to see a lot of returning players as well uh kato monkey i'm really excited to see what combos we have, and we have a bit of a, and new maps are now available here. Yeah. Icebox is going to be our very first game, and I'm so excited to see how it works. Uh, Icebox was a bit of a playground for SBSCC. Uh, and and it's our pick this this uh, time around. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very exciting. Playing attack first, as def I Icebox has been known to be quite a defensive sided map, but it definitely is very swinging. Like if uh, teams will get uh, momentum. It will definitely take their take their time. Right. The Icebox is known for a lot of five man hits. Not too much exploration through the mid side most of the time. Mm -hmm. Um, and that that's basically the gist of that. Right. Ice uh, Icebox, I think, is one of the more interesting maps in the way it's very um, uh, angular. You know, very a lot of straight corridors, not a whole lot of bends or curves. It's going to rely heavily on flashes. Mm -hmm. The uh, Viper is definitely, I think, the pick to look at here. Funny Man definitely already right. hovering that pick. And Mellow hovering Chamber. Yeah, Solo Viper very strong on this map. And it looks like we're going to see the Deadlock come out from the other team. I, I kind of like this this Oregon team myself already. Yeah. Like, Deadlock's very exciting. They recently got some pretty big buffs, and it's been like, I don't know, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. I d definitely appreciate when there is more diversity of the agent pick, but this composition is a standard SBSEC pick. This was almost, if not identical to the later season that we saw last year yeah um on icebox in particular not a whole lot has changed but i mean if it ain't broke don't fix it taking second place for the fall split for the njc yeah and totally what i like to see is that i mean with this deadlock we're gonna see less sage i'm not a big yep. sage supporter personally yep i think that the utility that Deadlock provides actually could be really helpful for this Icebox, and we've already seen it in a few pro matches. Oh, definitely. Oh. This, I mean, of course we're pro, but like, you know, before, right. before us. This, and then Chamber from Mellow, Reyna from Kato, seeing very two, like, um, 
dual heavy characters. Yeah. I mean, of course, you have Jet as well. So there's effectively three duelists here for SBSCC <laughs> versus you know walking into two controllers, Moon and Lalafo opting for double smokes here, which I think is kind of good. You know, you can set up Viper pretty heavily on one site on defense side. But without further ado, we are underway. Yeah, it will definitely be exciting to see how we're able, or uh, SPSCC is able to open up the space on the map. Find those, uh, find the cracks in the defense of the, uh, defense of, uh, the or, the Southwestern, Southwestern Oregon. 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 Yeah. We got it. South Swalk. Yeah, uh -huh. Swalk. Got it. Okay. Swalk. And then, uh, yeah, figure that out. I really do like this chamber. I, I mean, I love chamber on Icebox. Oh, totally. I, I, chambers, I, I don't know. Not many people like chamber because he ruined the game for about a year, but it's fine now. Yep. So. Seems a little bit more balanced. Uh, I remember last year, SPSCC was that it was chamber every every single time. But without further ado, standard, standard. mid smoke here from the Viper Orb. Kato just getting the tippy top of the Lapo's head, pushing up into the tube, trying to lay down a little suppressing fire. Actually manages to get a shot through the wall. A little bit of chip damage, and that's a lot of times what you'll need on these like pistol rounds with the ghost. Three body shots doing 90 damage. Oh, but Move. Kato's caught out. Yep. Not expecting the Viper to be in such a vulnerable position. Soup, Soup is, is able, able to get a trade, but Silver, Silver Soon is able to Soon. counter that trade, and it's a 3v4 take. Not without a little bit of damage on Silver Soon. Has 13 HP left. The utility is back up. The knife is not going to catch anyone out, and SBSCC slowly make their way onto the A site here. Melo hasn't used. Any, any of those uh, headhunter bullets here. He has four, four available to him. Funny man is able to get a little bit of utility down. And the plant left. is gonna go. The spike is planted. Mellow, that early pick here. La La Lafo is down. The smokes for Southwest Oregon are all but gone. Cutting up this site is gonna be really risky here. Really impressive how they took this site as well because there were already three people on this solidified onto the site, and they were able to make it force them off. It's a 2v2, and ooh, funny man, in a very vulnerable position. Just doesn't get the shots Gee, he's looking uh, for. Unlucky. And Smirks is able to punish him from the other side of the site. The first round is going to go to Southwestern Oregon. <laughs> okay, okay. And that's that's the first round. Unlucky pistol round. We'll probably see the next round going towards the uh, the side of Western Oregon yep. as well. But that, I mean, as I said, Icebox is a defensive-sided map. Mm -hmm. I, ooh, this is interesting because like, we're definitely f finding both teams on their preferred side. Right. So... There's definitely a lot more power that's going to be presented in this time. It's a really nice start. Wow, that's that's going to yeah. spot out too. Wow. Uh, what a valuable scimitar. And it's uh, it is just W Gaming right now. SBSCC is trying to get as far up into the site as they can. So much of that Viper wall is used to kind of take control and cut up this site. And yeah, they really have a lot of characters who like have those have that utility that can only be placed one place and then not other places. Mo Mookie, Mookie mid, it finds two and yeah, the pistols just do not stand a chance compared to everyone. Oh, oh Mello is able to find one. That's a little, that's like two hundred dollars right there. Yeah, with the free right. gun. <laughs> uh huh. Is able to get, but I wanted to point out, um, Smirks and I think it's Silver soon did not end up buying. They stuck with the ghost there so there is a bit of a gun equivalence here the uh the buy is not entirely in SPSCC's favor so yeah they do have that third round full buy advantage but there's three rifles like three high-powered rifles on the side of southwestern oregon so this this round might be a little bit closer than SPSCC is hoping for yeah a really underrated economy strategy yep pulled off by them FBX. I can't believe like that was such a long time ago, and it hasn't gained that much traction. Oh, definitely. I mean, 
You'll see it in like some games, but like, the, say buying two, a few rifles, and because you'll win the rounds anyway. You really have to watch out for those forces, but since SPSCC didn't go for it, right? It, it's just they almost have full guns this round, and they'll have easily have enough to buy next round as well. Absolutely. Now, we have not seen deadlock here at all. Kato is going to get that first kill, and the spike is going to go down, but. Deadlock, kind of an unfamiliar character. Monkey gets that first shot, doesn't isn't able to get the turn. Unlucky uh, timing with the wall going down. This is a brand new Sentinel for SBCC to kind of face. The spike is tapped. Funny Man is going to throw down a couple of Vipers bites right here. Lalafo with two. He's already pushing the backside of Yellow. The defuse and is out, and it is all on Sue. Yeah, wow. That's... Mookie mid, With really just taking those shots. It was like looking really good for SBCC on these site takes. Every single time, I think. They've given up, but like, that's just Icebox, yep. right? Yep. You just let them take this site, and then you just full retake. Yep. It's uh, it's a bit you of like a, a push and pull, you know, mm -hmm. allowing all of your... yeah, yeah, all of those uh, advantage fights for the, the defenders coming back onto this B site yellow is super vulnerable if you're playing around there, and it's very difficult to get a good sight, sight line onto the um, bomb if you're over in like bike B cubby and all of that area. Anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, talk about the push and pull of this map. Right. SPCC looks like they're gonna try it once again. They have a couple of rifles here, but uh, that uh, man, I don't even know what some of these abilities are called. Barrier mesh. Monkey, early kill onto a site. It's a complete fake, and they have a site all to themselves. Monkey, down to 30 HP. Really good job adapting from SPSCC. They've seen that they've rotated pretty fast, mm -hmm. but then we're going to come to the exact same problem where, like, okay, ba Whoa. very big kill from Soup already. But, yeah, the same problem of this retake is going to be very de difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of... Uh... A lot of countered angles here, but Monkey just Ivy holding screen. it down. Biggest man advantage we've seen all game yep. for SPSCC. Moon is going to punish him. Funny man getting ready with the bites here to try and maybe stop any defuse, but there's just not going to be enough time. I think SPSCC have really clinched this round. Smirks does get a kill onto Soup. And it's going to die of the bomb. Let's see if they I... can get out in time. Hmm. Really, uh, really good play. That was the first, I think, the first round that Mookie mid died. Or, uh, yeah. So, SPCC trying to bring this one back here. I mean, yeah, the... the yeah, it's it's just... It was it's a, a good really round nice win. round. And they just won their fights. Mm -hmm. Like, what can what more can not, you expect? Not, yeah, not much to say when the when it's just aim duels. Uh, I do want to point out. I have the spike. Uh, even though they did win, they took quite a few casualties here. SBCC is on a bit of a weird, like once again, like light armor buy here. Mookie mid is going to be super dangerous here with the operator. Round five. Oh wow! Oh no! Very very scary. Monkey getting ready to push through into connector. Dodges the flash. Oh, and, and this just play is full collapse. Standing. And there's a reason why there's Icebox is just so often a game of just hitting five, hitting five to one site, because it's just so difficult to break through these holds that the defenders have everywhere on the map. It's and Mookie Mid yep. gonna clean up the last one with the operator sitting from behind. That's a just a tough spot to be in. Down three rounds, but three on three in terms of ultimates. The Hunter's Fury, the Knives, and the Empress are available for SBSCC. Very, uh, very initiative attack sided ultimates, especially with the Knives down in an eco here, which I think yeah. Soup might actually opt for with the the sort of half by Stingers. Uh, Stingers, the um, what you call it? The Marshal is out. Um, oh, we didn't even talk about Honey Man draws the Mandel. So I'm in. True. We didn't even talk about the uh, brand new gun that's in the game. Mm. Uh, the outlaw is. Oh right, yeah. 
go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so the Outlaw is another, it's going to be a high-powered sniper rifle, bolt action, with two shots available before needing to reload. Um, it is a very, very powerful weapon. I believe it's 140 on a body shot, and it has really high uh, wall penetration. So I think it, it's definitely changed up the way the economy, I think, plays out ultimately. Um Funny man pushing up oh, upside yellow really well is gonna get the kill on the Mookie mid and the operator is down. Moon can't go to it and SPCC have called the rotate. Yeah, what a well that was a really big pick from Funny Man. Truly playing Viper like you're supposed to and ratting around to the map. Yeah, the as we were saying though, the outlaw not I mean it's not really showing as much impact as we thought it would though. Like even when you know the enemies is gonna be on like a light buy, so often you'd want to go f like the guardian already fills a very similar pace place to it. Um, it has uh, what's yeah, I don't yeah. know. It can feel awkward to use, especially it's a very unique type of sniper rifle as it can shoot two bullets very fast. Definitely. And so it's a. I think it's a very forgiving gun. Kato has picked up the operator and uh, is sticking with the sheriff here as they try oh. to defend the site. <laughs> Great and shots by him. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, Kato's working his magic. Yep. And, and soup. Wow. Way to bring it back with a thrifty. Don't have the MasterCard sponsorship, but... <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't particularly like that completely like that i mean soup did go for the marshal over the knives which right. is like if you're not going to use it then when are you going to use it yeah it's definitely going to provide the most value then but uh spscc have pushed them back onto a, a timeout i don't know if that's like a technical timeout or like oh they get uh, a, they get a free technical timeout so we could oh really yeah we could have just they could have just called a server timeout um so definitely the strategy here not sure what they're thinking in terms of we can see some of the pings coming out not sure what they're thinking in terms of where they're going to set up like the i think the important thing to watch is smirks and mm -hmm. using that utility on both sites um i'm not sure what the strategy is here i think getting outplayed by sbscc getting a pick on to b maybe losing in a trade but then moving back to A, I think, was a really almost predictable move. And so I think uh, just the rotate back towards A site for Southwestern Oregon was a little too slow here. And then also, like, considering how the chamber operates in this right. situation, like, the deadlock obviously has a lot, like, stronger, like, defensive utility mm -hmm. as the chamber is this, like, high, like, as said by the devs, like, supposed to be, like, Oh yeah, just uh, some like Killjoy and uh, Cipher have their like a uh, remote utility, but oh. you, yeah, you get gun, you get gun, absolutely gun moment. Anyway, taking a look at uh, the way that the strategy is, the timeout may be more effective than SBCC was thinking. Moon is gonna use the the Viper's Pit Ultimate right in front of B site. That's a whole wall to get through. While wow. on the other side of the map, Silver Soon and Mookie Mid push up, getting a one-for-one -one trade. Controller. Oh, but Funny Man, he's already, he's already deep in it. Oh, and Mellow stays alive through that the K and shoot. Huge. What the heck? And I really like that trade from Kato and Lelafo. L L yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean. That was really, like, it completely opens up so much for SBSEC and... Mookie Matt has no idea. Yeah. S oh Mookie, my gosh. What is he doing? Oh my gosh, what a nice setup. Because I'm pretty sure, is that a new angle? That's a new angle, that right? That is a brand new angle yeah, that's been that introduced. Crazy. So much discipline. The veteran player, Monkey, he sits and waits that out perfectly. Mookie Mid doesn't turn, doesn't check the corner. And he's able to get another free kill, and that's a f this is a save round or a, a half by at least for SWOCC. Yeah, and I think like last round also wasn't that great. I think one of the big reasons why they called the timeout mm -hmm. was because that operator really does put a dent in your pocket. Yep. And it's expensive. now that they're 
they tried to force up again in the last round, and this is just immediately more difficult. I... The deadlock thing doesn't recharge, right? What? <laughs> Wait. Whoa! What? Monkey able to get a free kill. Smirks is not ready to look for it. And, and no, the, uh, the, the cage doesn't... Recharge. Did they hear something at the beginning of the round, or did they just throw the deadlock cage? I think they just threw the deadlock cage. Uh, I mean, that's it could be considered smart adaptation, as you are supposed to like take these early skirmishes, or else you're like kind of left defenseless. Right. Nello finding Moon on the other side, and oh, Monkey is such so a good far play here. Up. Mello has absolutely waited for A, and Monkey is just holding it down on the other site, trying to cut off this rotate, and it's a flawless round. Everyone's falling different places of the map, just left and right. And it's a tie ball game. SBSCC hold on to four ultimates here. Yeah, and you can see, like, as soon as, like, all of a sudden, Mookie mid stopped, like, putting in these, like, Eight kills in first three rounds, mm -hmm. and now is like it makes a very big difference when you right have this uh, fall off of sorts. I I guess. Yeah. No. Totally. And uh, and SPCC are just playing around the map effectively. Yeah, it's really well played. I really like a lot of the ideas that they're going for, which is funny that I say that because I don't like the ideas. That people go for on Icebox specifically. Right. I I have found my favorite strategy on Icebox is just uh -huh. to rush every single time. Monkey's gonna get that early yeah. kill with soup there to help him out. Recon Dart is out to try and see if there's a push, but Lalafo is not gonna push that smoke. Was that missed or was that like attempted to be there? Because I don't Oh, oh my gosh. And I don't think he knows Lalafo's there. Oh, oh but Lalafo but... doesn't quite get the shots he's looking for. 30 HP, Monkey just has to hold this. And it's a two-man advantage. Out of so many of those bullets. Really I don't, well played. I don't know if that dart was missed. I think he was just uh, worried about a push. Mookie mid is going to get a kill on the soup. They have info on Lalafo. Three on one. Kato sees his feet. And SPCC are in the lead. <laughs> mm. Okay, right on. Yeah, let's... Um, Alita. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So, SPSCC have completely flipped this on their heads, and... I mean, as I was talking about, this is a, a lot of... There's a lot of momentum-based ba stuff on this map. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, lots of momentum-based me mechanics on this map, and well, not mechanics, but ideas. Oh. And once they start getting this ball rolling, Monkey and Mello. Where is everyone... that going? <laughs> Look at that, Lalafo oh, spotting him. Out. him out. They know he's backside yellow, and Kato Before is gonna here. push up frontside. They don't know if anyone's mid though either. <laughs> One of the problems with uh, Deadlocked is that the sound sensor... Ooh, this is a uh -oh. really, really big option. Uh-oh. Soup is oh, able to get out. They got out, and Monkey got... Oh, Monkey got two back. Monkey's going crazy. He's pushing Wait. up middle. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So, like... Uh, so... No. No. Wait, he no, just okay. blind peeks, doesn't care about behind him, and, and SBCC start moving back it. to A site. The smirks just has a Bucky. There's nothing he can do. Bucky. Oh no. Oh, oh smirks counters. Never mind. Actually, smirks is the best player of the, the King year. The King Slayer, Mellow, oh. punishes, but <laughs> Bucky with three, holding it down. Thirteen and eight. Topping the leaderboard here and getting a six half, six round half for SPSCC. At least two rounds left to go. Yeah, and I'm as okay. I'll I'll find I'll find, I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. Okay, so deadlock, right? Right. The, uh, you know, you ha only have this deadlock here. So this is another problem with Sage and other, uh can be a problem with chamber if you're not completely set up correctly is that the uh oh Ooh. that's Unlocking. that looks like a bit of a miss there and Kato's probably gonna catch and SPCC oh, yeah. are gonna absolutely punish that miss yeah unlucky the cage but is the down. sound sensors 
yeah, yeah. It's a sound sensor. So if you're shift walking past it quiet, mm -hmm. quietly, it won't catch anything. And then the monkey's able to pull off that crazy, I want to say quadra kill, but he didn't actually get smirks oh. there. Mello and Lalafa walk around each other. They have no idea that the other is behind each other. <laughs> Mello needs to look down. Oh and Lalafa needs to look. <laughs> he <bit> somebody. <laughs> he <bit> what? <laughs> what the? Oh, oh Lalafa. Oh, and everything's falling apart. The 5v3 five five turned into a 3v2. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. But this is crazy. It's no longer SPSCC side and. Yep. And. Uh, yeah, we got the showstopper coming out. Able to oh, find. Funny oh, man. Don't want to kill him though, because funny then. Man. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> not Lulafo. Actually, actually, is so. I don't even know. Yeah. He's just so good. Lulafo able to find, <laughs> to find that kill onto Mello, and then being able to turn that into two more. That's just really sneaky play there and <laughs> Mello was so close to finding that that could have been entirely for SBSCC but one misstep but I uh the Vipers pit I think was the best chance they had um unfortunately just couldn't couldn't keep that ball rolling um <laughs> Mello with an attack side operator last round in the half and that is a really big round, even though it doesn't particularly stop SPCC's economy. Mm -hmm. And that, like, you don't want to see like an eight-four half. So, definitely. As, of not. course, SPCC are going for this. Of finally popping the jet knives on the last round of the half. Smirks gonna be able to punish um, Kato blind. And Malafo. everyone's falling down. This yeah. is the S Icebox Classic. Yep. Looking like we'll see a six to six. Actually, a funny man oh, but was able to pull off a miracle. Not, not particularly. I mean, of course, Mello could also pull off a mirror. Very but true here. An all command going to be so difficult. And Silver soon definitely whip out the spot them. Oh. He can't use the headhunter there, so stuck with the operator actually became more of a curse, really. And it's a tie half moving into defender side. Yeah. And you know, I think. You know, while we were on him, Mello, I think, is going to be kind of the man to watch here. SBCC really heavily relies on Chamber, I think, for map picks like Icebox. And putting Chamber on, you know, putting Chamber on yellow, having him watch green and the cubby, I think, is going to be how SBCC want to do this. Or they might throw him in mid. And I, no matter where he goes, I think Mello is going to be very effective and change up. Yeah, oh, the chamber being so strong on this map, like uh, how uh, Mookie mid tried to operator yellow and it completely backfired on him. Mm -hmm. That's something that wouldn't happen with chamber. Right. Like his entire kit is designed around that fact, and we'll definitely be seeing some of that effect on this half. But whoa. what? Oh. Oh my gosh. Wait, oh, Smirks! But... <laughs> Smirks had the opportunity to get the kill, but Kato. <laughs> Kato was able to two. get two. Mello finds a kill of his own in mid, and it is a 3v2. Completely flipping the round on its head. We'll see. Yeah, wow. What a, what a crazy shift. Yeah. Uh, I just like, if, because the ghost is quite inaccurate from that range, but right. like, if it was just a little bit more accurate, think about how many more kills. They were yeah. all lined up. Oh, that would have been so right. nice. And right? not even a check because they had. Uh, what was it? Smirks? Hmm. Smirks takes a shot from that Sheriff. 55 damage on him. And Soup is going to be the one to take this first contact. The dash charge is active. The wall is up. And he gets the dink on the Kato. Or Soup, sorry. I'm just so used to Kato yeah. playing that chat, right? Spike okay. Okay. Mello, great early kill. It is all on Smirks here, who ends up behind, but Mello, oh. with a three-piece, is able to turn, and with the last shot of that headhunter. Got worried there for a second. Like, Smirks, all of a sudden, was in, like, a really strong position, and that could have oh, yeah. changed things quite a bit, but no. We're all good. Everything is... As it should be. Okay. Yes, of course. Not losing 3v3, 3v1s over here. And, right. Uh, like uh yeah, like I like I said, I think Mello 
gonna be the gonna be kind of way to watch. Funny the lineups. SPSCC has done their homework with nice. the map changes, and uh, yeah, we're look talking about these lineups here. Mm -hmm. But like, I I don't completely love this wall mid. I don't yeah. know. I kind of I don't like how it doesn't. I I can't play. Yeah, but no, I'm not I don't like it how it goes to like all the. It, yeah, it makes it really awkward. But anyway. It is a full it, force. It's going to be B. Yeah, full force attack here on to B site. And SBCC are kind of showing a little bit of respect and letting them take it. And we're going to be seeing that. Oh, the snipers are out. There's actually the... Yeah, uh, there's the first outlaw kill of the season for the SBCC Clippers. Yep. It can be a really strong bonus weapon. Um, as, as the same for the Guardian as it does... Oh. If they go for those, like, light armor buys. Yep. Completely shuts any of that down. And Smirks is just left in an impossible situation. Oh, and Kato. Double headshot with that Sheriff to really nail down those kills. But, oh, man, just the snipers are so... And the Outlaw is so strong even against, you know, heavy armor. You know, doing 140, leaving 10 yeah. HP is huge. And so or having two shotting someone, of exactly course. <laughs> having that immediate second shot, monkey, uh, you know, and then I, combine it with your completely fair and uh, yeah, I think a free gun, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's just it's very uh, easy to use. Anyway, Moon able to kind of duck the dart here, but SBCC pushing. This actually like really good for uh, Western Washington as. I mean, this is what you're supposed to do. Oh, Kato. Oh, Kato finds the first one. Yeah, defaulting for this push, and it doesn't work out in their favor. Very unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> Monkey, as soon as he pulls out the drone, and Kato, Kato goes down as well. Cut out. The A push completely backfiring on them yeah. after they got that first original kill. It is Looking all so up to good. Soup. Doesn't quite get the reaction timing for these early shots. Might have to dash away. Spots out Moon, but he is stuck back here. Uki mid. Very low. Funny man gets that kill onto Smirks. Moon? It is all up to Mello here. And, and Moon, moon with four. four. Wow. Yeah, definitely someone we've seen, like, not the biggest performance from so far. So that just, com like, completely holding an entire round on their back. Such an unlucky silver drone from Monkey as well. Trying to scout out some of that area and then just immediately yep. backfiring. Just a, uh, just unlucky timing. I'd uh, I'd I'd attribute that to. But I really appreciate the way SPSCC has been kind of playing this. Um, even though it didn't work in that last round, having both duelists, you know, push their respective sites, just playing it so aggressive to try and control as much space as possible. Icebox is a big map, and so I think I think they learned their lesson. However, and they're not going to keep that up, and they're just giving up a lot of the control here. Soup pays the price and ends up going down. Mookie mid, great headshot kill. Kato trapped in this corner, but it's going to punish Lalapa with a teleport and dismisses away. Silver soon gets the spike down. And it's going to spot out Monkey, who's not looking quite right. It's a 3v2. SBCC have the man advantage, but have to play for the spike. Oh! And Kato, and just, Kato just ready for smirks. Gets half. So already, if things go poorly. Yep. But they don't, don't even need to. Yep. Doubled up. Very clean. And Mello is able to keep that operator. I didn't even realize he had an operator. I mean, yeah, he did use the headhunter towards the end there. Yep. And it's gonna yeah, the another, second timeout, another making timeout. a lot of sense. Yep. So, yeah, just SPCC, just, I think... Hold it back. Uh, once again, we're really not too, too great at the beginning of a lot of these matches. Yeah, a bit of a cold start. <laughs> uh-huh. But then, yeah, we're able to pull a lot of this back, and the map's looking he very heavily favored towards the SBCC side now. Right. It's going to be a save for, uh, what, 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 what yeah, yeah, Oregon. I'll just say Oregon. Yep, Oregon. They got a, on another save, this eco round, 
gonna get it essentially is gonna be a fight to stop SPCC from getting you know first to double digits uh, and making that a three round game if yeah I don't know necessarily what the strategy would be here uh, I think the way to uh, to counter this is like how they did in the uh, in that round three would be to you know default play for your play for a pick and then push when uh, push when the site you know you can get yourself into a 4v1 may maybe even a 4v2 but you could still win that if you double up and play off each other and so punishing these pushing duelists here it's probably going to be the only way but then it looks like soup oh plays gosh. back so this is just a really tough tough situation to be in this is such a strong angle. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like, it, this is really anyone awesome. walks into that. Because, like, you're never going to expect that box. I mean, people do mm -hmm. expect it. But, like, that's... It's so crazy. And then the chamber just doesn't get punished for it. Or as punished as they would get for, you know, playing a, a regular one. Monkey wait, able did to... He, did he get a collateral with that dart? Wait, how no, did it wait. reveal two? What, what is he doing? I, what happened? What, yeah, what did happen with He's that He's just a... What? Look at him. Actually, just the best player. I don't know. He's just... He's built number one, so number different. One He's just bouncing around. He's... <laughs> the operator is going to be recovered by Monkey. Not much to say about that round. Uh, you know, eco round versus a full buy. Monkey getting a really great early drone off. Um... Operator back in the hands of Mello, just a just a tough sight take and a really easy retake. Mm -hmm. Really, not much to say. SBCC they do have the tour de force. I think they might save that in case you know uh, the the money what? is good for their side, but might save that just in case. Like, I mean, buying up the operator again in this round. Leave. I mean, it leaves Monkey with or Mello with quite a small amount of money. Right. So, if he does end up getting punished, it's a very easy solution. Just pull out the five bullet gun. Oh my! And... <sighs> Mookie mid is yeah. gonna punish him though, with the uh, with the but showstopper. Monkey, what the? He how? It... And then oh, he sees the barrel of the gun. Yep. But very unlucky. Very unlucky. Mookie mid is able to kind of get that reaction timing on him. Funny man is still holding it down in Snowman. And waiting for Soup. I think everyone's just waiting for the spike to be tapped. Silver soon punishes Kato on the other side of the map. And is... Okay, I thought Silver soon is going to go A, but... Popping the Null Commands and... I, and Flash working out. Soup is going to get find Silver soon. But the null command and is still active. For Mookie mid. This would be the time for Mookie mid if they did like they needed one. Yep. The res is probably yeah. The right, yep. res there's no way they're expires. getting that off. Bit of a Fortnite resurrection style. Oh, Funny man why? watching the back of soup. That's crazy to think that that's a crossfire, right? right. Looks like they're just gonna go for some plant money here, but. <laughs> the funny man just like I don't even know. Yep. The snake snake bite's missing and Mookie Mid does actually have a chance at this. Yeah. Able to find funny man. Isolating him into a 1v1, oh! but Soup is on the bridge. See Soup's feet and that's all he's gonna see before he goes down. Yep. And that's eleven. Two that rounds man. away, and the that operator was... is still in the hands of SBSCC. Not like it completely mattered. I guess like Mello is a little bit low on the on the economy side. Right. So yeah. Does Mello have full utility? Um uh, the... no no owl drone. I'm kind of a little bit surprised to not see uh, a team buy. Right here. Because that owl drone is a very strong piece of utility. Right. I How think... many times has that thing got nerfed and oh you know it's yeah. still like one of the strongest pieces of utility in the game. Right. So I think SPCC just gonna rely on this on the recon dart. That's an awesome. Yeah. That's an awesome dart. That's so cool. And I think they're the understanding here is uh, it's gonna be a, a bit of an A hit. Monkey. Oh, oh Lilafa oh, with two. Lateral headshot. That's really unlucky. 
Monkey, Monkey with the Hunter's Fury, is gonna get Ooh, two. Back. And brings it back. Actually, just saying screw is or screwing that ad, uh, advantage. But no, Lalafo. Okay, Kato, two v two. Kato is there to bring it back. Retake. Monkey, oh, Kato. he's just oh, wait, ready smirk. for smirks. Yeah. It is all on Silver Soon, but I don't think Silver Soon has the uh, has the line for it, and I think Funny Man gets it to. And does not well look good. And all of a sudden. <laughs> The map that was four to one in the favor. Yep. Is <laughs> they have gotten? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's match point. Yep. Time next. Match what? Point. Oh, we might be going. Might be going to a technical timeout. Is that oh. coach? Yeah. That that's, co okay. that's Yeah, that's uh, that's SPSCC coach. Look, it looks like Sorry. there's gonna be a, a technical timeout for SPSCC. What, what happened to his uh? S or SPCC account. Or didn't... I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I, I think he's using his uh, personal account. Steal okay. his info while we while it's here. Um, Yeah, technical timeout. Uh, Kato having a bit of a mouse issue. Makes sense. Um, Why he didn't turn there. But, you know, I think that's the, that's the problem with the wireless mice, I, I guess. Is he using a wireless mouse? Do you know? I, I'll probably... I, can, I was going to go, go check, but I don't even think that's allowed. Right. Uh, um, we're not sponsored by anyone, so we uh, yeah. can't say, like, oh, use the uh, Razer Death Adder. Of course. I, <laughs> oh, yeah, Razer. I, I see Razer sponsors all the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, of course. I mean, because no one ever uses. The, this is, like, a really not well-known mouse. Right. No one no one ever talks about the Razer right. Death Adder. But at ever. 60 grams, these things are really yeah. nice. It, it, they are really nice. They have very low, good response time. And, mm -hmm. I mean, the big kicker is that, like, you get such good, like, it's such good value. Oh, right? to totally. Comparatively to other mice, mice at this price price point, like, this is the best that you can get. Very competitive mouse. <laughs> yeah, uh, Okay. Course. Anyway, in what is potentially the last <laughs> round of the first map. Not um, hashtag that. Yeah, we are, we are not sponsored. Or Razor, if you want. Oh, this might yeah. be potential for a collateral. Smirks is going to get the first kill onto Kato. Kind of opening up this B site here. Melo has to defend it by himself. Leaving mid. Unfortunate timing. Monkey is going to be the one to watch it. Recon dart is out, but it is too far behind. SPSCC not moving fast enough here. And, and Soup is going to pay the price for it. Monkey has to turn to Kitchen. But and a sight. Everyone's on. It's it, it just funny, man. Can funny man find these kills? Because that's what it's going to come down to. Oh, they spot out funny man. He is going to. He is going to get moon. That's a viper for viper, but it's a two v four retake. A lot of damage done onto Smirks. Mello just barely missing, but Monkey is there to punish. Spike is down. The Oh, they, I think, did they, left. yeah, they missed they, that. They missed the ultimate. Missed, missed the very powerful cocoon ability. Yep. <laughs> um, what is that called? Uh, it's, where is that going? Uh, oh, that's not going to catch up. No, Monkey so gets that kill onto Mookie mid. Annihilation. Wow. 12 seconds <laughs> left. They have to go fast. Oh. Smirks gets the kill onto Monkey. It is but, all... Oh, oh, does not okay. stop the... Uh... But if he got Lulafo and was able to get out, that's a GG. All right. Just one small one small adjustment, and that's just the, that map. Definitely. Uh, it's called... A, so the Deadlock Ultimate is uh, called Annihilation, which is a very fitting term. So for those you know who are watching at home who may not you know play Valorant super regularly, Deadlock's Ultimate is a... Uh, you launch... I guess, how would you... It's almost like a Sova ultimate in its appearance. And it bounces off of a wall, and then it ends. And wherever it ends, if a player is standing in its location... A, or any, like, trail it's right, been. Wherever yeah. it's wherever it was, it... Oh my god, Kato's in a really good spot here. Put them into a cocoon, and yep. the only way that they can get out is to get shot by a teammate. Yep. Funny man, opening kill. They have not see, checked Kato. You see that? No, they did not see that. Uh, oh, but yeah, it is a save. It's going to be very difficult for it's them a... to... Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's just Kato was buying a yep. shorty for... Of course, my, my bad.
If you're, uh, if, you, if you're only expecting one, then I guess buying the Vandal isn't necessarily worth it, but we are... It is only on the shoulders of Soup right now. Has almost full utility. The spike will be planted. Spike planted. A little bit of damage done here onto uh, Silver Soon, but so many angles to clear on this uh, on this defuse. If they're entirely playing from spawn, which is kind of like a pretty good starting like strategy, yeah. you know, just to all play from spawn. But just Mookie mid is going to be so dangerous here. So I think so. Yep. This might. This is going to be a tough retake yeah. of Silver Soon. Not finding the head of Silver Soon. Oh, yep. So close though. Five HP left yeah. once again. Just. I mean, these rounds are coming down to like very small margins. Yep. Inches. Even though it may seem not so much. Like we were joking earlier, it's a game of inches, really. Uh, of, <laughs> of course, yep. of course. Uh, anyway. <laughs> SPSCC, uh, still have... Oh, no, I take that back. Um, forced yeah, onto so an eco round. Kato gonna buy up here. Funny man Wait, gonna buy. This is... Forcing as much as it is. It... Wait, so it, it is a... It is a bah. It's a forced round. Okay. It's a forced round for some. Uh, I like to I like to see like a lot of teams have the same. Very unfortunate. Yeah, I like to see the teams on the same pa page with economy. Right. It can mess up a lot of uh, tempo and all of that if you're slightly off. Definitely. Off track, but. But soup. Uh, using the tried and true eco method, uh, eco round method. Popping the knives. Four knives left. Has to kind of duck, dodge, and weave. But Mookie oh, mid wow, on a tear a here. Kind of holding it down. Uh, opening up this A site. Monkey gets a shot off. Not doing all the damage he's looking for. Lilafo taken down to about, uh, what is he going to be? At 49 HP. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> The uh, deadlocked, uh, what's it called? Barrier mesh. Yep. Definitely being a little bit funny. Is this going to be a flawless round? It is not going to be a not flawless, a flawless round. round. Monkey is able to get that first kill, but Smirks there to punish very quickly up into the rafters, and two round difference is all that it is. Uh, Southwestern Oregon, yeah, playing for overtime right now. And that, uh, I mean, obviously something went correct. In that timeout, I mean, that original timeout kind of messed them up almost, but mm -hmm. yeah, this one definitely showing a lot of a lot of promise. They're still definitely in the game. Uh, how long is it? Can it just go infinite overtime, or is there like a limit on that? No, I believe it's infinite overtime. I don't. Okay. There isn't really a draw uh, in the league. Uh, I want to respond to some of the questions that we have in the chat. Um, Hitting a weapon, or <laughs> did we pick a map, or did Oregon pick a map? Uh, this first map is uh, the pick of SBSCC. Uh, Icebox is historically one of their playgrounds. It's one of their best maps. Um, wow, wow, going into really close rounds here. And uh, to CJ Creator Zero, how many games? Uh, they will play uh, three. So a uh, 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 maximum of three. It's first to two. So SBSCC on the full save there. Last round in regular play. Yeah, because if they win the uh, this next round, it will go into the overtime. And it's a win you by two. Win. Yeah, win by two. Wait, oh, uh, uh, you you will switch sides every for every round. So, but of course we'd like to see. Uh, I mean, yeah, SBCC a, a victory win here. as soon as possible. Right. But you know, if it needs to be taken into overtime, we could we can win in there too. Monkey, I don't know if that's necessary. Oh, gonna spot out, spot out oh, three. three, and the uh, and that's gonna pull the rotates. Yep, but the null command is gonna stop any other recon utility going out. There's the cage or the the barrier mesh being dropped out. Monkey trying to spam through the viper wall, but not gonna find anything. Kato clearing this corner. There's the hunter, oh. hunter's fury being used. He's getting so much out of it. Moon as well. 
Oh my gosh, Lolofo moving actually Smirks. makes it seem more. Smirks with two to punish, but Kato is on the other side of yellow, and SPSCC are Holy looking man. to lock this down. GG. Three for Kato, two for Monkey. So wow. much work out of those ultimates being used. I was a little bit worried towards the end there. That I, was... Was... <laughs> I was a little worried as well. Like, Man. surely we don't throw the, the, the 7 12 lead, right? Or, yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that's it. Taking a look wow. at, the, uh, at the scoreboard, Monkey crushing it. 3 17. Mookie mid, not too far off behind. 3 12 for the ACS. Uh, one more kill goes in the favor of Monkey, dropping 26. You know, dying quite a few times, getting that lower econ rating, but just. Mookie mid. It was showing a lot of consistency, and I think Lolafo had like a lot of really big plays. Yep, and a lot of like, multi-kill rounds. Yeah, really rounds that turned the tide and definitely won a team quite a few. Definitely. But Monkey, incredible consistency. Kato also with that. Of course. And we'll see. We'll see map two going on to. Um, this is Lotus. Of course, of course. And I think SPCC is uh, starting on attack side. Uh, once again, this was uh, this is Southwest Oregon's pick, um, but this is our pick for side. So we will be back in a few minutes, and uh, we're gonna see how next game goes. Yeah, of course.
bit of a cold opening here as we move into map two of the NJC AAE match day for SBSCC versus SWO double C. And now we're on uh, Public Chamber. We're on Lotus. Public Chamber. Oh no, Cypher boring. I'm actually gonna fall asleep with Cypher. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I don't like Cypher. No, no, oh, whatever. C Cypher is like such a such a meta pick here on like on a defense mm -hmm. map, you know, but I, I understand it. I do want to say we did have a bit of a swap out. Um, so Soup has been replaced by Juno. This is will be her debut game. Yeah. Very, very excited. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be very cool. I, it's going to be very difficult to play this map without something like a Sova. Oh. No, no, I'm, I'm listening. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, without something like a Sova. Um, a double omen, very boring. I like to see Astra here. Mm -hmm. I think Astra's just better on this map. It doesn't even yep. take too much. It's just everything works very well for Astra's kit. Definitely. Uh, Ray's very prominent pick, and Breaches as well. I like breaches. The, I like the Breach pick here. Mm -hmm. I like, I like the Breach pick when you don't see these Vipers all the time. Yep. And I mean, it's gonna be. I think. I mean realistically i mean i'd say the same for last game as well but uh oregon do have the better comp here or i feel like they have won the, the won that the champion sort of. battle here yeah yeah i, I, but I can that see was that. the last map too and we still came out on top so right i think uh i'm really excited to see this fade go into work here uh, not a pick we see super often, um, especially with double initiator for yeah. SPSCC. Um, but in the way that the current meta is, Sky is kind of out of it with Dead. yeah no she... rechargeable flashes. So Sky's kind of out of the meta, and then in is uh, you just kind of have open room for all these other initiators. So which is really weird, no, like because like. Initiator sling was like, oh, everything's like rechargeable, right? Mm -hmm. Or their signature is rechargeable, not right. everything. So like, that's really that's really strange, and it's like a little bit worrying. I don't know. Okay, was able oh, to go over that. He avoids the, the wire, the but has to be careful of the aftershock there. Oh, is gonna get that first kill oh. onto Silver soon, and no what more a... wires have to be worried about for SBCC. That was so well played, completely bypassing the ciphers like entire setup. Which is going to be a really difficult part of hitting that seaside. But the good part about hitting the seaside as well, you're only going to see that cipher there. Absolutely. And everyone's going to try to flood retake here. Yep. Melo not going to hit the headhunter shot. Mookie mid Mookie gets mid, that opening kill. On the Lulafo. Lulafo. Two. Oh, oh man. And, and it everyone. all crumbles. Only losing S Silver soon. Wow. Yeah, and this is going to be a big dynamic change here as we have this. Like, a lot, we had a lot more Dooley team last time, where we were, like, very big Ego characters. And all of a sudden, we're switching over to, like, a lot more uh, utility. Yep. Especially on, like, the attack, like, pushing areas, yep. right? So we're going to have these, all, all of the initiator utility. Yep. And it's going to be, it's going to operate very differently from what we saw last map. Absolutely. And I think the double controller is going to be, especially difficult to play into um with double initiator might be easier but uh here's a tried yeah. and true combo spcc has to back away from the uh the tremor and the uh the raised paint shells but making a little bit of space onto b site here the cypher set up here oh, oh and it oh yeah Mello I isn't I'm able to help his team out there anyway just the the wires are so strong now. Very unfortunate. Juno kind of setting up this bit of a bit of a cross with uh with Funny Man here. Able to break out that uh the boom bot. Trying to watch Flink so he can grab the spike, but Funny Man goes down. It's all on Juno here. Juno's gonna, uh, gonna get pinched in the spawn area and reveals their location yep. as well as the others. And it's a flawless round, but gun gun disadvantage going onto that A site. Definitely not the call I think uh, 
was trying to be made, but losing so much ground in B site definitely hurt that push here. But now the guns are in the hands of SPSCC, moving into round three. And SPSCC knows where the cipher is going to set up. It's probably going to happen a lot of the the same time, the same places, mm -hmm. a lot of this time. Yep. Um, and I think that was like a fairly successful bonus round, if that's what you're considering here. Oh yeah, not l not um, losing oh. a gun. Camera taken out. Early yep. camera. Kato is going to spot it out. Already pushes up onto mount. Has a judge. I think we're going to see a double satchel play here. Kinda... This is a slightly different. What is this? Yes, there it is. He has broken open the site, and SBCC start to move on. Mello takes a kill onto Moon. That's one of the smokes down. Kato grabs that Phantom. He has pushed up very far. This is a very different C take than uh, than they had that first round. They are playing aggressive and taking control. And Monkey, Monkey gets that that shot through the wall. Mookie Mid is spotted out. Has to use the boom bot to clear this they corner. They find a flawless. It's good. This is gonna be so beneficial for them. But Lolafo, oh my god, like. How is Lilafo so able it's Just consistently make such big impact? Yep. Even that one for one, so worth getting an entire gun out of the hands of SPSCC. And it's a braze battle towards the spawn. Mookie Mid has to be so careful here. Trying not to get double swung. Kato just running at her. <laughs> Everyone's on the down. other side of the map, and Kato's just egoing this <laughs> fight. 11 HP left. Not Didn't even break a sweat doing so. Real. Now, gun down. Monkey isn't going to be able to. He's probably not going to be able to have full armor or full utility here. Yeah, can't have. Can't have either. Honestly, oh look at this. It goes for the half armor here. No, gets the vandal. Well, Juno doesn't get a buy here, and. Uh, and SPCC, that might have been a misstep. Four guns versus five. So, yeah. But we're kind of seeing a repeat of uh, of round two here, with uh, with less aggression onto A and turning it back to B. Mello trying to clear out these angles here. They know that wire is probably there, the one that was so devastating. For them on that bonus yep. round, and they find it. Yep. And they're able to entry in. And Kato oh, is already so oh, far in. A, yeah, in the breach, out, caught out with the utility. Smirks goes down, and the site can be cracked open. And Kato with a great shot on the yeah. moon has the paint shells once again. Might throw him out here. Sees the oh, gun oh, of Mookie Mid. He's oh, going for his ace. ace. Oh, Silver soon oh. goes down into oh, the ace for go. Kato. Let's go. Really well played. Once that, again. That was like so well done from a macro level and a mechanical level. Able to completely just weave from every single place knowing where they will mostly be. Oh. And such a nice shots as well. And he will be so happy to hear that we kept his, his POV the entire time. Yeah. Something that didn't particularly happen yep. on his with, other aces. With his other season. aces. But Kato... Excellent movement, just playing so aggressive, and SPCC have finally figured out the rhythm here. Seems that as though uh, Southwestern Oregon kind of breaks easy if you give them a little bit of pressure. They're going to find a wire on B site itself, not in the corridor. Monkey. Look at that. Like tremors. There's the aftershock out. Kato just repeating it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. S Smirks is going to get caught out by the fade eye, and Kato punishes. Immediately, just round after round, running it down. Paint shells are going to stop his own movement, but he's running and gunning once again, and it's just a full repeat. Has the showstopper available? Has to be careful of Lolafo here, who has the Bucky. Monkey gets that first kill onto Mookie mid. Kato running, and they know Silver Soon is on the door. Monkey and Kato just running it. And as we move into round six, Kato is already at double digit kills. That's crazy. Like that ace, really well done. There. Like. There. Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, right on. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Uh. So. That was yeah. These rounds <laughs> completely after that pistol round. Yep. Doing really well. I. 
I know that person. I, yeah, oh, okay, I hear, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, whoa, bro. <laughs> oh, anyway. So, um, heavy utility combo here. And SPCC are going to lose so much initiation here. Kato goes down as well as Juno and locked into their own spawn. This is a tough position to play from. Three on five, no matter what site you go to, there will be someone there to kind of stop you. Lilafo brings up that wall to maybe try to deter SBSCC, but Monkey, he does have the Rolling Thunder. Aftershock trying to clear out this corner, but he needs to clear a little bit further back. Spam through, does not land a shot onto Lilafo. Scary. And Lilafo punishes oh, with wow. two. This is not the round. The vibes were so far up, and wow. Lilafo and the utility combos have absolutely shut that down. No one will remember them. Just a uh, bit of a change in the uh, in the energy. Totally. I mean, <laughs> everything was so hype b beforehand, and then right. all of a sudden, there's just like so much oh, silence. Bit of a lull here. Yeah. The rounds were good, but now it's a. Uh, now it's time to, make, to lock in. Uh -huh. you know? Of course. We can't... Of course, Kato isn't going to ace every round. And, uh, yeah, it'd, be, yeah. it'd be cool to watch. but I would be cool to watch. <laughs> I, uh, I'm i in. Yep. Mate. I mean, this is just such high level of Valorant, right? Yep. Like, such high level. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, what is... Uh, that, what, that, <laughs> that wire up there, the I think, adaptive. is specifically to counter Kato. Yeah. Should he double satchel, but... But now he's taking it slow. This is actually the one round that he doesn't Whoa. double satch. Oh, wait. Oh, he might get caught up by he, this wire. Nope. No, it just it doesn't. It's <laughs> sees it, breaks it. Wow. Has the showstopper. Yeah, there's just no. There's just absolutely no counter to that. I mean, because that's what I was worried about. Like Sova provides so much utility on these cipher matchups. I never like. Oh, Kato doesn't know. Oh. Oh. Wow. Kato dropping some paint shells right onto the right onto Monkey. Uh using Mello. the showstopper to counter the ult, but Mello is just already there. Round. Funny man is already behind. Wow. Ultimates are dumped. And SPCC <laughs> take back that lead. And uh timeout activated here for uh or S W O double C. So, I think the the strategy of the cipher hold on C, you know, I think I think uh, got a point here, man. I th Someone predicted that they just oh wow. I don't, I don't know. They they're just smart. I don't know. Very good job predicting the yeah, getaways. Yeah, cross by the way. cross underscore three <laughs> incoming getaways. You were so right on that prediction there. Huge, yeah, sorry. huge moves. Um, I think the counter strategy here is just the cipher is just not really working out on C site, um, nor is it necessarily working out on B site. Wherever cipher is, definitely needs help. Um, and so, wherever it just feels like wherever cipher is needs a little bit more support than necessary, and I think that puts Southwestern Oregon kind of down here yeah which is really interesting because what you want from a cypher is a very strong hold right. and that's something that just I, hasn't been happening right that feels whether it be like and that's what happens right we have this double double initiator mm -hmm. super aggressive grenade yep. double satchel stuff going on so much stuff that can clear that cypher utility and it looks like they're still gonna trust Silver soon to the C site by themselves. Mm -hmm. Looky mid. I mean, that is probably like, besides like B on Breeze, probably the strongest site in the game. Oh yeah. So. Oh totally. It's uh, it's very surprising that it's not working as well as they're hoping for. Yeah. Um, and it looks like SPCC are, they're gonna run it once again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They spot out Silver soon. Uh, Kato not necessarily hitting those satchels doesn't get the proper positioning he's looking for. Bullet spam, Lalafo taking a little bit of damage. The spike is ready to be planted. Okay, yeah. Planting safe here is probably a, probably a smart move here. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna try to hold this site, and I, I don't completely oh, love this. Too. I mean, that's how they lost the pistol round mm -hmm. with like 
Um, keeping this, I mean, staying on the site. Or, oh, yep. and all of this pushing utility. Oh, but wait, Mellow's on the flank here. Sure. Yeah, Mellow completely devastating. Silver soon finding them again, but it's a 1v3. And is that, I don't know if it's possible. And time's running out. Finds Juno. Can they find Funny Man? But Funny Man's just going to play yep. safe. Funny Man trying to play for that time. Great defense from him. I think uh, if th that would have been possible Could since have. it was planted so safe. There's definitely just a chance, like, if Silver soon prioritizes the bomb. But that's, like, so backseat. I don't know. No. Uh, probably, there's no way. Oh, definitely. But I the the safe plant there is very scary. I think you're, I think you're right if he, uh, if Silver Soon had just gone for the bomb. Yeah. Definitely might have been harder for, for Funny Man to retake that. But with a teleport in mm -hmm. hand, that through the shadows, or not through the shadows, what is that called? The sh shrouded step? I, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, because through the shadows is the it's, all, it's, yep. or from the from shadows. The shadows. Um, Clearing out so much space here. There's the double That's satchel play. Like While full blinded has to play super safe here. Getting on to A site, which looks a little bit different than folks at home might be uh, remembering. Juno, early kill on the moon. Okay, it's an ice too. box angle. Yep. Uh, where they take away that middle area and it now turns into this like a big block with a crevice in it. Because I don't know, why not? Mello tries to swing oh, off of the spray transfer. Off of the Left boom on bot. HP. Yep. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, because he was spraying one. But yeah, okay, cool. Oh, look it at was the, a spray. There's the reposition. He hears the door and immediately moves to a better spot. Silver soon does not have a gun here. And Kato is going to, yeah, yep. once again, time's running low. Such little you can do. Especially, like, you're playing, uh, what's it called? Yeah, you're playing all the way on the C site, and then your team starts retaking without you, mm -hmm. right? But that's, like, caused by the, um, the team going so fast and planting the bomb, right? Right. So this, like, the dynamic completely changed. Yep. Completely changes in that regard. Absolutely, and a three-round lead for SPCC is so huge right now. Uh, just it's just blow after blow. If you know, if uh, SWO loses this one, it's it's back to another eco round. It's just a just a tough situation to be in. You know, sticking with a guardian, yeah. one with half armor, Cover going not ideal. Kato, just running it back. Just if it, it, it it's been working, so they keep doing it. Smirks is gonna get stunned out. That's a that's a really great. Um, but still behind. Smirks at. It's like no HP. A four HP for Smirks. Yeah. Wow. I mean that. That's why you you choose the heavy armor, right? I, yep. And for I love this phantom. play. I love this play for Monkey. He does it uh -huh. all the every single time. It works so well on Icebox. Holding down this rotate potential push, uh, Mello does have the tour de force, and he's kind of peeking fear. with him. But it's going to be very difficult to use that tour de force on this B site. Oh. Lots of angles, very cramped. Yep. Kato goes down to Silver soon. Very. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, the sight hold yeah. might be very different. Big blind from Funny Man with the run and gun, his signature move. Yeah. Of course, of course, and but yeah, there's. I guess that's the tour. What the tour de force does. Looks like there's gonna be a save. I don't know if the double satchel was completely necessary. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm just like just great shot. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah. But and oh, we're back now. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Really well played from Funny Man. Understanding that. Yep. Yeah, I, the um, the, the way that the way that the CT there. tunnels are, you just got to play around them. And SPCC is is super effective at doing this every time, where they just they push the tunnels, and they're able yeah. to stop rotates. And they they're just playing way too fast. And it seems like Oregon is not catching up here. I mean, like Fnatic figure like these yeah. these these site like splits are so strong on this map. Oh, like definitely. basically the opposite of what they are on Icebox. So. I, I really like what that like that idea. Yeah, adapt and it the works so out. well. Any any place, take that home for your ranked games or whatever. I don't yep. know. Um, Kato oh. spots out the close left monkey, oh. while sitting on the wire, gonna get that kill. 
And then it looks like there's going to be the open plant this time. Open plant? Uh, Mello is taken down with a bit of a mid push. Look at Kato. He's up so far. Oh my gosh. Monkey is there. Monkey killing him. coming. Oh. Gosh, we gotta go back Ooh. to him. Never mind. No longer a multi kill. I mean, well, it definitely could be, but like. Paint shells out, smirks all by himself. Yeah, a little bit of disorganization from the team, and okay, Kato cleaning up with two kills for the round. And this team just looks completely different. Oh, so good. Icebox looks, looked uncomfortable. This looks yeah. just very easy for SPSEC. And is this a, is this a, are we, can we talk about that? Talk about what? Like, like the, 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 that's it. The bands? Two things? Like the yeah. pick, picks and bands? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, it, 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 Lotus is supposed to be one of our bands, but like right. later, later on bands, which is crazy because they look so much better on this map. Yeah. It's. I think a lot of that does have to do with no Reyna, uh, they still have the chamber, but like the, the Rays also provides a lot more utility than a jet would. Mm -hmm. And so like the game just looks more comfortable, right? They have a lot more space created and yeah. they're able to do what they want, which is what SPSEC, the Thrive in. Right. Definitely a lot more active playstyle. What is going on what? with that? There's a lot of <laughs> utility just being dumped down into the B corridor. Um, I think there's also a bit of a oh, monkey opening kill onto Smirks on the A side. That's going to force Mookie mid to kind of rotate and have to watch it, but SPCC have completely turned. They're going to see sight. Silver soon has to hold it by himself. Um, there's also, I would say, a bit of a mental factor involved. You uh, you take a lead so heavy in round three, four, yeah. and five. Uh, I think just so much momentum uh, mm -hmm. being being built off, and then you know that's this, like this silent jump. Oh, I didn't. Even... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, not no. completely caught up with all the tech in Valorant, so I didn't even know you could silently yeah, jump. He just silently jumped. That's... Wow. And then, yeah. oh, but he needs to start moving, though. Yep. So much discipline, oh, no. trying to spot out everything. Gets the kill onto Silver soon. Turns. Looks to Moon, and he gets four. Oh, my gosh. Monkey. Monkey. The disrespect. Oh, my gosh. So That's skilled. <laughs> That's crazy, because, like, Lolafo there, right. there's no, like, even though that his teammate just died, there's no way, like, oh, the gun, the gunshots behind me are just, like, my team. Like, there's no way that someone jumped over the trip in the mid area. Right. Like, you're just not even, you're not ready for, for like, you would think, think about player it being behind you. Just not expecting that when you have so much security with your teammate, with a wire, just... Unbelievable discipline from Monkey to be so patient. Oh man, just taking right Oregon's map pick away from them, just the mental effect that might have. Oh, look at this A push here. I love this. This is my favorite pistol yeah. round strategy. Just dumping utility, <laughs> getting ready for this full flank here. It is three man flank, and they're giving Seaside away. They're just One playing for a full retake. With, the, with this comp, this chamber comp, not even near the amount of power yep. that that Cypher has. Even with all of that utility that we'd put in, like, just a, a missed shot is all that we need to yep. leave the seaside alone. Yep. But it's a 4v4. It, oh, 3v4. It, Funny man yeah. goes down, no smokes. Kato gets that opening kill. Monkey is there oh. to help his teammate. <laughs> They spot out Mookie mid, but Ooh, the fight. I don't like that fight. I don't like that fight. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. They're just like starting fights with out the teammate teammates. Kato, Kato in a 1v1, but the low oh. the low lawful? The low lawful. lawful with four kills. Yeah. But hey, taking four down, not too bad. I think they're gonna be happy with the performance, maybe not so much with the result. Um just so Yeah. There is just miscoordination from both teams there. Yep. Really, just not speaking. <laughs> speaking <laughs> while the action is actually happening. Mm -hmm. Bit of a, just a sloppy play to, after sloppy play to, really open up that site for both teams. But, uh, moving on, fresh round. Kato Monkey built up a little bit of a enough of an economy. Have a have a couple of pistols here. Mello gonna get a little bit of info, but has to teleport away. Only has a classic. 
One adjustment that I'd like to see is this chamber not solo holding sites. Yeah. With a cipher, I do like that solo hold, but it just doesn't work the, the same. And oh. we're just firing pistols at like nothingness. Oh, we Monkey stopped the spike from going down with though. With the aftershock. He does end up going down, but this allows oh, Mellow pushing up. Moment. Maybe full blind, but what? Hey, no, no, okay. is there to punish. Smirks with a, a jump peek with the blind, not particularly completely working oh, out for him. Just but... the double up, unlucky. It is all on Juno here. Silver soon barely holding on Lilafo, so low as well. Almost getting a couple more kills there. They're able to full buy this round as well. Yep. Um. Yeah, with once again that economy strat that we don't completely see SPSCC adopt all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like it's been saving them forever, but they've definitely pulled some third round uh, conversions off of that. Some meaning one, but like, yep. you know, that's, that's a lot if you think about it. Oh, definitely. Um, I Looking at the... the you know it's also I stuck on the sheriff. Oh, yeah. They actually have more more value. That's a yeah. Um, On the run where they're supposed to have less. Right. Looking at the just the the split of weapons here in the loadouts, looks like it's it's four vandals on well four rifles on four rifles. Oh, but funny man just spraying down. He's getting so much damage, so effective here. Kato is there to punish, just drump, dumping utility down. Another kill in the sight. Mookie mid. Is able to punish, but Monkey is there on the turn. What can... Yeah. What is... I, like, I don't... I'm shocked at what's happening. Like, there's just so much utility thrown out. The Fade Haunt, like... I, yep. Making Monkey. it so difficult to hear. Lilafo is so ready for this, and is this going to be a 3v1? Monkey and Melody. Oh, Lilafo, what a scoreline for a team that's not, not even close to what they... Right, 20 and 9. Monkey anticipating Monkey. the fake here. Very Lilafo. smart. Yeah, Lilafo's going to walk it all the way back. The spike has not gone down yet. Left. He knows that the rotate might happen. He's got to play it safe, moving back all the way to spawn. Oh, but Lilafo pump fakes him here. Oh, Viper. and the Viper's pick. Viper's pick so goes, goes down, but even still has to be careful. Monkey might have stuck around. Planted. No idea where they are. The Viper's Fit is in a, a very strong location, and the is just, just walking. Oh, oh, oh my God! They're so oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so uh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. They Monkey. swapped positions. They, they just swapped positions. Oh, and then Monkey gave his position away. Monkey. Oh no! That's a oh. lot of information that he just gave to Lalafo, who plays so strong and is now behind Monkey. Monkey, no! And he's not anticipating what it. What a clutch from That's Lilafo. a round three. So well played, though. Like, you have to give it to Lalafo. Oh, there. 100%. Lalafo just 100% shows so much skill and talent in that, that final play. Singling out the two veteran players on their own. Pump faking and using Viper's Pit on a site that I think would be the best site to do it. You know... A site, no matter where you Viper's Pit, it's only two. It's only two spots to come from. C site, it's only two. Whereas B site, it's like a it's a whole circle right there. Um, Ooh, okay. Hato pushing up here, has the Stinger, playing off of Juno's utility. They know Lilafo is there on the reload! Big punish here, but Kato oh. does end up going down. Funny Man is able to advance to a I know. I know exactly oh, yeah. pretty good position, but the neural theft is going to stop him out. Juno has a sheriff once again. Not getting quite the shots oh. he's looking for, and Silver soon is there to punish, getting another point for another ultimate. You know, the neural theft down at six points just can be used over and over again. It feels like another ability, really. And everyone's in tree. Monkey kind of waiting, using a little bit of utility on site, but it's not going to be not going to be worth it. Everyone's playing from tree. Tremor being used. Mellow teleports away to safety. 
not without getting caught out by it. And then they have just oh, so just much utility, utility for Utility dump. The funny man, Bucky, working out really well in that situation. Yep. Monkey going for a tap and yep. not working out. Spike was able to get to half, but it's just, yeah, when all four members of Oregon are in tree, that's just, it's impossible. With yeah. so much utility that they saved in the round. But back Do you think it would have been possible to, like, let this spike, like, all detonate and kill, kill them or, like... And play for exits? I think that would have been... Or it, not play for exits, right but no, like I'm talking about like, uh, c continue the pressure on that A site mm -hmm. while, um, the, but like don't not dying so the spike goes off. I don't know if that would be possible, but like, I don't know. I think that I think that could be possible, um, but I Getting think the sniper cam early. Yeah, but I way. think. Oh, gotcha. No, sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah, to show I, that Oh no, really... I'm probably just waffling or something. Anyway. No, 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 it's all good. Um, oh wait, look, look how far Monkey is doing already so much damage. Lalafo and Smirks Whoa. goes down, but yeah, he's just in a bad really spot bad. right now, and Moon is gonna punish with the uh, sh with, which uh, whatever, what is that ability called? The uh, par uh, paranoia, yeah, paranoia. Th that rolling shadow. Oh, SPCC, here's the showstopper. Have to give so much respect to it. It's a f what? It's a fake. It's a fake. Why, why did they put... But, like, why did they leave Mookie mid? In yeah, there? wait. But, wait. yeah, they catch on to this really easily. Like, Kato has a showstopper of his own. He's just going to dump it right there. Oh, he gets oh a gosh, lot of so damage bad. done. That also... <laughs> that's crazy how it just doesn't... Like, it gets people low, but, like... Right. It really didn't do much. Oh, Mookie, Mookie mid. Yeah. Spike planted. And I mean, headshots are instant kills. So, it, when you, even if you get a lot of damage, I mean, it's possible for Juno. Nope. Really well, good shot by Moon, though. Yep. That's a that's a tough spot to be in. You know, going from a nine three half to a nine eight half. It's a again. There's that mental game of uh, just a little bit of momentum goes one way, and all of a sudden we have a very different looking Valorant game, and it's very obvious why the attack side. Was uh, was for both of these teams. I think uh, going forward, this is just a tough spot to be in, you know, sure constantly on eco rounds. But Mello, oh no, getting blinded out. He has the headhunter four shots. Oh, they hurt. They they knew. They knew. They knew. Ali Smells was able to get out. That's, that's the important part. Playing right? alive is much better than playing dead and uh, mm -hmm. playing off of that, off of this the, the prowler utility. Yeah. Might be uh might be smarter, kind of forcing uh Oregon back. Prowler is used to try and get a little information out, but not gonna find anything. B site seems to be the target here. Yeah, this map's so difficult to play. Like yeah. when you're like. I... It's so default. Like if the uh, uh, players just uh, attackers just default, they're able to get so much information so easily, yep. and then like they just choose the site for where they want to go. Definitely, this is easily where the chamber struggles. They have double initiator, mm -hmm. which it doesn't does very poor on this uh, defense, yep. especially when you're like you would want to use some of this attacking utility to you know attack points on the map, but. They've not been able to retake with it, and they haven't been aggressing other places on this map. So, very difficult. Kato getting a lot of information off of, the, off of these jump peaks. It's going to throw yeah. those paint shells down, and Monkey tries to follow up by getting Ooh. getting some damage down, but Kato, whoa, he gets a kill. Rolling Thunder, 14 seconds left. He doesn't stop the bomb, but he is going to open up the site here. There's a lot of pressure. He needs to look towards Tree, but Monkey's just going to go for the defuse. Isn't hiding in the box well enough. Mookie mid is just... The, oh, what a, what a well-placed utility, though. There we go, Funny Man. Funny Man, as a Vandal, he's dangerous. Oh, my gosh. But That's so unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Things Six just... rounds in a row. Yeah. It was looking a good like attempt at retake. Up. Yeah, and this is... Yeah, this it's not is... looking like the best game, but that's... Yeah. This is scary. Wow. Okay, another another four spy round from SPSCC. We'll see if we can.
pull uh, pull some stuff from there. Oh yeah, we have uh we have a full almost a full buy here. Uh, for, I'm curious to see what these uh from the shadows ultimates can, can kind of do here. Early early aggressive utility here from SPCC. I think aggression might be the way to play this. Juno all alone on C site has to be careful because that uh omen ultimate is used stays alive for a full retake. Yeah, I mean speaking of aggression, they're just already putting that or the, the attackers are committing that omen all yep. there, as well as like yeah the rays the that, all of this utility. I mean, uh, but and we're just, yeah, we just can't Moon, can't Monkey mid. On this. Great, we're taking one v one. It doesn't end up working out. Monkey Dang. and Mellow, two powerhouses. Gotta play from the mound here, but getting taken down, but he's got a couple of shots in him. Has a teleport available, but it's might not be worth it to, to even try for. Smirks with the final kill and that's a lead. Or uh Back at a lead for Southwestern Oregon. Yeah. Very different kind of game, very different atmosphere. Uh, just, a, just a tough situation to be in. Funny Man is the only one with enough money to really buy here. Could be a force to... Giving giving up double digits first to uh, to Southwestern Oregon does not yeah. feel good. Which is crazy, because that was a 9-3. 9-3 curse, I yep. kind of just realized. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, totally. Wow. Milo has the tour de force. Maybe it might be uh, what SBCC need. Paint shells being used. Double satchel away. Kato gets another kill with the paint shells. He's just dumping utility. It's a it's a five v four. The guns aren't necessarily in their favor. Four v four now. Monkey goes down. But there. And. Like, oh, this is the, the problem with this map. Like, they have no idea where they are. They just door cut fake. sound for a little bit. Total door fake. Funny Man does have From the Shadows here. He could ult for some info. W with, with the Phantom, he might be able to just hold this angle down. Yeah. I mean, they need they need that right now. Mm -hmm. And then their star player this match, they, or our star player this match, mm -hmm. Kato, like doing very like forced to go on that seaside where they just end up not going funny man oh, drops, mellow drops Big that kill. smoke down but smokes just spikes down oh mellow with two mellow. here with the tour de force kato pushing up with this stinger he's in a really good spot avoids the showstopper mookie mid goes oh, down God. it's a 3v1 surely not another 3v1 this game right like not two and not two again oh what yep paint okay. shells Paint shells out. Ten seconds left. It's gonna Ten looks like it's forced to save here. Smirks can't no, play. Smirks yep. I mean, like, oh. what you'd have to do that. I mean, Smirks did the right play. Right. They're maxing out on money. They're gonna have money for the rest of the game. It's yeah. not even play it out. Or yeah, look to take away money from SPSEC. Mm -hmm. Right. Mello has this operator, which is could potentially be a problem now yeah. that they don't have their loss bonus. Right. They, like, if they lose this round, their economy goes down. But right. they need to make this bold play. Definitely. The timeout. I think it's important to to kind of take a look here. Uh, Funny Man has an ult. Juno has an ult. Kato's one away. These these are great retake ultimates that, that could be used. Um, I think it's going to be kind of important to see how they turn out in this next round. If... Uh, Kato gets an, maybe an early pick, fights for an ult orb, which I don't... They haven't really been doing. They've kind of switched up the play style to not be so aggressive. But... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just... With a timeout active, it's... Just a different different looking game here. I think both teams are a little bit more, more nervous. And I'm nervous too, right? Mm -hmm. This is like... I mean, you were we were thinking like this was a completely different SPSCC from yep. the last game, and then all of a sudden they're starting to show a lot of their weakness. Yep. I think it's a lot of a comp weakness as well, as well as like not completely understanding right what they're going for. But like 
if you look at any program, this is like easily the most attack sided map. Mm -hmm. You'll see, like, no matter what they comp, right? Oh, definitely. So. Um, Kato. Definitely. This is uh, this is where these these retake oh. ultimates might be so necessary. Lalafo gets punished. Has the. Oh, what? The showstopper <laughs> is available. Satchel's a way to safety. He only takes a little bit of damage. He is out and well. SPCC have a 5v4 retake potentially onto A site. Oh, but the rolling thunder. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, paranoia coming out, yep. but not going to do anything. Oh, Mello with the operator. No one to follow up there. Mello, yep, getting that operator. And Flaming. they're moving over to the A site. It's a 4v3, but the, we've struggled. SPCC have definitely struggled retaking this. Oh, but there's the, the fade all. So big. No and it audio. Completely, yeah, completely deaf and silver soon. Soon, I, yep. soon, soon I I'm not sure. But there's oh. the showstopper. Kato with three. Has to be careful, but the spike is already defused. Smirks does end up going down in the end, and SPSCC are turning it back around. So much committed into that round. Big round, SPCC looking to get out of here early, not trying to go to a map three. So much money still available for uh, uh, Oregon here. They can still buy. And once again, it's a just a it's going to be round after round here. But SPCC building up a bit of a nest egg. Yeah, I mean, that was a very big round to get, and yep. looks like their economy will probably be settled for the rest of this half. If they win this next round, they actually might push a few of the players on uh, or Oregon to not buy. They know Mookie mid is pushed up. Funny Man does pay the price. The spike is Mookie. stopped from being planted. Well, to get Lolafo, but... It is definitely a 3v5. Oh, Monkey oh. blinds himself, and Mookie Mid is in a really good spot. The running gun works, though. Gets punished out. It's all on Juno. Debut game for this rookie. Got his work cut out for him. 1v3. Eyeball goes down. Has to be so careful. Is aware of the camera, but the camera can't see. Yeah, but this just entire... Oh no, it's it's an impossible position. Yep, this is really. the cipher just never peaks, and <laughs> just not yeah. ready for Smirks to be all the way up heaven. And it's 11, 11, no. and Speaking I think. Speaking of Smirks being heaven, that was a really crazy flank. Completely changed the round there. Yep. I mean, flip. Yeah, you that flip was. Flip it around. Yeah. Definitely so. Uh, SPCC, they do have a buy here with some lighter armor. A buy is available, but it's uh, it's getting down to the wire here. 11-11, these are really close games. Uh, Monkey, he's a, he's one away from the uh, from the Rolling Thunder here, which is, a, which is perfect retake. Getting kind of stuck on the wall there. Look, the Viper Wall is on A to fake it out and. Oregon kind of moves towards C, but Mello, he's not, he's playing pretty stubborn. He's not giving up a whole lot of territory here. Yeah, but if they start pushing Mello, at best it's a one for one, and then right. it just becomes, it goes very downhill with the power operator completely gone. Definitely. Juno is also forced onto a sheriff this round. Yep. Also, if they lose this round, they'll most likely oh, lose the map. Mello. Able to take out the Omen all. Oh, okay. Oh, Monkey Mid. In. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I, that was so no, no. fast. But uh, one thing, Monkey does get that Better. kill. Monkey has the ultimate here. Breathe. He could play oh, for it. Dude. Monkey goes down. Juno as well. Kato oh, gets a kill God. through the smoke. It's possible. Kato, he brings it to a 1v1. The spike is down. Uses the paint shells. Got to get that reload oh. in. He doesn't he know he's close. Oh, he gets it. Oh, oh, Kato. oh my gosh. Kato. Clutch. They needed that so badly. Huge clutch round when it mattered the most. Coming in oh for his gosh. second season, and he gets the operator back. He leaves it. I think SBCC are done with it. Match point, potentially 
bringing this to another 13-11 game. 34 kills for Kato. What a map. Unbelievable. Just, he's really found a groove here. But that's, they're down to Bulldogs and Guardians now. Oh, at both teams, sorry. Both teams are oh, just... Yeah, got a judge on funny, man. Oh my gosh, what is Scrapping for whatever they can find. Early stun onto a side. No operator. Yeah, no. No That's op what's been winning these past few rounds. It's, uh, I think, I think it was a tactical decision to kind of leave it there. I think Mello this, might have made that call. This is going to be a very difficult round to win. Yep. As no sh the opposing round or opposing team does have a showstopper and a viper's pit, right? Able to make that space and keep that space very effectively. Yep, a lot invested. Funny man has Probably. from the shadows. We could potentially see a big play. Kato oh. Oh, is going to spot out Lilafo. Able to get people over, and they can whatever they do. They There's can't let people th them enter onto the showstopper side. being used. Kato oh, does end up going down. Mookie, but Funny man. Able to find one. But like, you, but like you said, Showstopper cracks open the site and the Viper's Pit seals it up for him. Yeah, wow. What an impossible retake. Huh? This is going to be very tough for SPSCC to deal with. Mello does get a kill, but Moon takes out Juno. Mello spotted out, and we go into overtime. overtime. Yeah, and that round's so difficult, even with the missed. Oh, like, but if, yeah, and that's just the, that's the thing about this game, right? A few, a few gunfights going differently. Yep. So, it's, it's crazy, this rivalry between Mookie Mid and Keda. It's, like, we've actually seen so many right. of these fights, these, and that's, like, deciding the round. Definitely. So much of the time. It's, it's crazy. Low for crazy. blow, and it's all on the backs of Rays. So, for those watching at home, maybe a little bit more unfamiliar with Valorant, uh, the way overtime works is uh each side will play or each team will play a attack side and then a defender side or vice versa uh they are given five thousand credits maximum to buy their utility uh probably a vandal of phantom and full armor um and maybe uh a, a, a cheaper pistol if needed and then they have to win both rounds so monkey punishing this early utility i think they were kind of expecting this uh this b push to work and i think that's the that's the play here oh is B site. Kato. It's the target. Kato pushes so early onto the site. Moon finding one back, but Kato. Moon. I feel like I'm getting like a little bit of deja vu here. Definitely. Like Kato's just completely opening up this site once again. It's so, and yeah, they're in a four v two. So difficult. Oh my, yeah. The, it looks like a one round already. Yep. The Lafo has. A pretty good spot here using that wall to their advantage but there's just so much stuff to clear and with Kato still alive it's all over the showstopper is out oh but silver soon punish let's make sure to not okay yep. yeah with a mellow and a funny man there yep. nothing could ever go wrong nothing could go wrong there uh-huh nothing SPCC secure themselves match point once again 30 so, okay, are we going to see a 40 bomb from Kato this game? Three kills that, away. Yeah. Might come down to a clutch round where it, where it happens. But just the defense side, got to figure out what was working and what was not. This uh, Both teams had really strong attack sides. It's not like a coin toss here. So it while, uh, while match point may be in the favor of SPSEC, they still have to be very wary that... Their defense side was not as strong as their attack side. C is going right to be here. kind of in the crosshairs. It might be a bit of a faster C. A lot of utility being used. Mello gets blinded. Oh, what? Oh God. What was that? So you know with a kill as well? Kill. Oh. What oh is going on? You already... Everything's left to Lilafo and Moon. And I mean it. <laughs> If I tr like, if I've seen anyone on their team be able to do this, it yep. would be those people. Yeah, like that was. This is a four v two already, but this is so po Like, th it, it's definitely not impossible. No, not impossible. They have the spike. They could go anywhere. Monkey, great stun. Yeah, I, they didn't even have any information on yep. that, so that was like just really well played. Good, uh, good game sense. 
Melo oh, spots out Lilafo. Out. The site is going to be able to be taken here. Juno has a, Juno has a bit of a retake. Out here. That's the, oh, the most important no. part. The dog not seeing Juno. The Prowler. Oh, but they are able to get a lot of the utility off. Honeyman takes down Oh, but Lilafo. Oh. <laughs> oh, but that was... That wasn't even that bad. Like... Oh my oh, gosh. Man. And GG is Jeez. what a Jeez. game. Oh, I, oh my gosh. A fantastic last round and a great <laughs> showing. Oh, what, a, what a lucky shot from Melo there. Oh, I, no, it wasn't luck. It, it was, was all skilled. Skill, all skilled. It was skill. Oh my gosh. What a game. What a game. Unbelievable. So well played. So very well done. Taking a look at the scoreboard, obviously got to give it up to Kato oh, here. Didn't... One oh, away on. from dropping 40 kills in a game, but 431 ACS is huge. Now, thinking about 26 rounds and Average almost a averaging a kill and a half, that's just crazy. <laughs> Unbelievable Eight performance. Kills per person, which is, I want to see that, per I want to see K Kato's performance page. Uh, oh, honestly, yeah. like, yeah, I that has to be crazy and like. 17 deaths too that, that's like not even that many for like a raise yep. who's over 26 rounds yep wow it is what a game it is down thank to you. the wire once again but thank you so much for tuning in to the sbscc uh live game for the njc tons of fun for us thank you to uh southwestern oregon community college Big ups to them. Uh, they have a stream as well. So if you're interested oh, yeah. in their uh, in their point of view, go check them out. Um, we will be live next week at 6 o'clock. Thank you all. See you then.